8-1 Minnesota tonight as we welcome you to Phillies Post Game Live presented by our friends at Cure Auto Insurance. Ricky Botalico, I'm Michael Barkan. we got interviews for you. We've got analysis for you. But Ricky Bo, tonight's Alumni Weekend. It's Alumni Wall of Fame Night presented by our friends at Toyota. And I'm wondering if the alumni had played. Maybe that would have helped a little bit. It would have been, they would have been better off. I mean, this is a game where they, they, they got washed. I mean, they got waxed, and it's and it started it started with uh, Taiwan Walker. I'm sorry, when you're putting your defense to sleep, I think it puts the game to sleep. You walk six guys in your five innings. That's not good. Not, not only did he walk six, he gave up a couple home runs, and he hit a batter. Yeah. I mean, you're given a lot of free passes. At one point, I think he had five walks and no hits. How, how does that even happen? Not only does he give up the runs and the walks, but this is the second straight game that he has given up runs early. Last start, he came back from that, and the Phillies managed to win in his last start. They don't bounce back as readily tonight. He has gone from a definitive to, like, a question mark now. I mean, right. how does that happen? Well, you start reverting back. He's reverting back to where he was at the beginning of the season. The only reason that he was pitching poorly is because he was having trouble throwing strikes. What are we starting to see now? He's not throwing quality strikes anymore again. But even his out, even a lot of his outs tonight were, I, I mean, were, were pitches outside of the zone. Here are the home runs right here. Here's Walner in the top of the fourth. Yeah, that's a hanging breaking ball. I mean, you don't see Walker throw a lot of breaking balls. This is just a hanging pitch out over the middle of the zone, and Walner doesn't miss it. It's that simple. Gives up two home runs on the start. Here's Joey Gallo to the left field. And Schwarber just runs into the wall. That's a Citizens out. Bank Park home run. Mm -hmm. I, I will give him that one. I, I mean, we've seen, we saw Stott hit one on this homestand, same type of thing. So you can't really shake your head if you've already seen your own teammate do it. Don't be going out there shaking your head. You made a bad pitch, got hit out of the ballpark. You just did not pitch well. His numbers don't really tell the story. The only thing that tells well, the, the story, do, right? that's what I was going to say. The only thing that tells the story is the walks. And then look at the pitches, 94 pitches through five innings. You want your starter throwing 94 and five innings? No, you want some quality pitches out of your starter. Taiwan Walker has not been that guy in his last couple starts. He is now turning into a question mark in, for a five-man rotation. Yeah, and for, for a five-man rotation, there are already enough question marks on the rotation. And, and certainly, we're wondering about Christopher Sanchez. Uh, they got uh, – Christopher Michael. Sanchez is always going to be a question mark because he came up as a number five starter. You look, you look at number five. Okay, there's the number five. You look at, you look at Lorenzen. He's not going anywhere. I love the way he's pitching. You look at the way he pitched in Detroit this year. He was outstanding. Aaron Nola, huge question mark. And I think even you go to the top. Zach Wheeler is kind of on shaky ground on top of it. I think we need to see a couple of good quality starts from the top of the rotation soon. Meanwhile, this team had a three-game win streak broken, so they were doing okay. It was an they're ugly game. They're now nine of their last 13 games wins. That's not too shabby. They faltered tonight, certainly, on Wall of Fame night. We'll see what happens in the finale tomorrow. We'll take a break. We come back, and we'll hear from the skipper, Rob Thompson, on what befell his team tonight. 8-1. Phillies go down to Minnesota. Here are the National League wild card standings presented by our friends at the Sioka dealerships. And there you see the Phillies still atop the wild card standings, followed by the Giants, two back. Giants are tied right now in the fourth inning. And then the Cubs and Marlins are tied with the Marlins on the outside looking in. That's the wild card standings. Ricky, no concern about this. I'm not Is really there? concerned. I'm, why would you be concerned right now? I, I told you what's going to happen to the Giants, and I've been right so far. They will fall down the mountain. So look, look at it this way. As long as the, the Phillies lost one game, we can't be overly concerned about that. It was a whitewashing. You might, hey, if you're going to lose, you might as well lose like that. Just get buried. You might as well. But, I mean, I, I didn't like a few things that were going on. But there's some things that you can pick out of this game that you could say, Hey, that was pretty good. I mean, Trey Turner had a really nice game. Casty. I mean, you could always find some positive in this Phillies lineup right now, which is a good, which is a good sign, and it will be in the long run. This is the third start now where Taiwan's below has dipped, but it looked like it kind of stayed a little bit lower yeah. this time. Yeah. Um, what did you think was the cause of that? I, you know, I think it's maybe just that time of year. He's been grinding pretty hard, um, so I, we're going to look at. Maybe giving him some extra rest before his next start. We haven't worked it out yet, but uh, I think that's probably the prudent thing to do. Um, so how does that like relate to um, like which rotation you go? Like, would that mean you guys are sticking with like a six-man 
Yeah, yeah. for the time being. And, and that's kind of what I said today. So it's, you know, we uh, after tomorrow, it's Wheeler, Nola, Lorenzen. Uh, it'd be Lorenzen, Sanchez. Sanchez, back to Ranger. And then we'll start fitting the other guys in and see where, where Ty can line up. His first innings, though, how did it, yes, it's been the velocity lately, but it's been a, a lot of walks. Issue, a lot, yeah, yeah the cr- control's off, command's off, velocity's down, so I, I think it's time just to give him a little breather. With the velocity down, it seems like he's throwing the fastball considerably less. Is that related and can that contribute to control bombs where maybe he'd throw a fastball? Uh, it could. Ball? It could, you know, because you're, you're looking for chase when you throw the split for the most part and in the cutter to a certain degree, but... Um, you know, his, his last two starts um, didn't have as many walks, um, and so he grinded through it. You know, he competed. Uh, tonight they weren't chasing, so that's where the walks came from. He's had normal workloads the last couple of years, but 2018, 2020, he didn't pitch much at all. So is that also maybe playing into if you get a little break here since his innings could get up to a I mean, season? I guess it could be, but, you know, I, I don't know. It could be. <laughs>